Welcome. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Really happy to be here with you today, and I wanted to let you know that we do three calls weekly. We do a Tuesday at 10 a.m. call. We also do a Tuesday 6 p.m. call, so we'll be on later today. We're on Facebook Live and also on YouTube Live. So one of the big things I love to do is I love to know where you are dialing in from. It's important to uh, see where you are. And so we're going to be doing this, like I said, three times a week. And wherever you're watching from, please go ahead and post that in your, um, in your feed. Go ahead and post where you are watching from, city, state, and country. So today... I wanted to talk a little bit about a, uh, something that recently happened to me, and I, as a, um, you know, as a biochemist, a person with an intense passion for biochemistry and all things related to the body, which involves skin and your entire body, your organs, I actually had a burn this last week. It was pretty unpleasant, and I just wanted to show you guys. So we're going to make today's topic burns, and I know a lot of us out there have had burns and this was a very unexpected situation it was very unpleasant and what had happened it was a teapot it's technically a steam burn I'm sure we can have a variety of different burns but if you can see there there is the burn and um, what happened is the steam was there and it was coming in pretty strong and I couldn't um, get it you know I had to drop the teapot if you will to avoid the, um, you know, to stop the process. So what I did, and this is what's interesting and I want you guys to understand, is I iced it. I iced it and I ran cool water on it all day. So the burn was, you know, this finger on the edge here, and you can also see here is where the, the brunt of it was, if you will, and then the pinky also, um, on, you know, that happened. So. The steam came, and, it, and I dropped the teapot at some point after I realized it was kind of like imagining catching your hand on fire, and it was really surreal because I was like, wait a minute, something's happening. My, you know, my body hurts, and all of a sudden I was like, you know, it's just one of those moments I'm sure some of you out there have had, and I was able to drop the teapot, but I iced it the rest of the day, and I also soaked it in cool water. I had a little cup of cool water. I had to work, nevertheless, on my laptop. And so I kept that going throughout the day. And nevertheless, look at that. that that's like still, uh, you know, a full day of ice and cool water. And I still had this kind of outcome. So I'm really happy I did that. So for those of you out there that have these kind of things, the first thing you want to do is gently rinse it with cool water and then definitely running cool, cold water on it. And then icing. So I put ice cubes in the water too, and then I would feel it burning, you know, all three fingers, and then I would put them in. And what it was doing is it was cooling down the flesh. And what I want you guys to understand biochemically what that means is if we, um, you know, the heat is continuing to penetrate into the lower layers, and that's why we want to work on cooling it off. So there you go, real life experience on biochemistry. Uh -huh. Some of you might say, well, what am I going to do to repair and regenerate? Because that's what we talk about a lot. And what I'm doing is I'm consistently uh, keeping it moisturized because one of the amazing things that happens with our skin when we are healing is the cells, the healthy cells are going to have to, if you will, come from the healthy skin and go over into the damaged tissue. So moisture, you do not want to let any injury dry out because that's going to make it a lot harder for it to uh, re, you know, fill in. The skin cells are going to have to move over the top of the topper skin layer and it's going to need to come into there so you can see for example I have some cracks in the skin right now this is very moisturized by the way there is an amazing omega-3 omega-6 cream from Ben Fuchs's Truth RX he makes an amazing uh, fat skin cream it's omega-3s and 6s and very healing so I put that on there and one of the things about what's going to happen is that healing is going to happen so fast that this skin, it's going to look pretty gnarly, no doubt, because this skin is technically dead. The red skin at the top, that's dead. I'm not going to save that. So as soon as I use that cream, I noticed the skin turned color. And the reason is, is my body said, guess what? That skin's out because there's new skin below that skin that's going to be coming up. So when you keep it moisturized with any injury, a scrape, a scab, etc., what you're doing is you're allowing for that, uh, again, the new cells to go in, 
get into the um, damage and repair and regenerate from, from that. And, you know, that's, that's a brief update. So I guess we're going to call this one hashtag burn. And we will be doing a call later tonight. I wanted to let you guys know that I've been, I was really lucky last week. I got to do two shows, fill in for Dr. Joel Wallach, which I always love. And we had some amazing callers last week. And uh, we had, uh, you know, just a couple of things happen that on the shows. It's always a pleasure. And also on Friday, I did send out an appeal to Novak Djokovic. I know that he's recently withdrawn and retired from Wimbledon due to a tennis injury, a body injury. And one of the great things about it is seeing a professional athlete come out and say, you know, I don't want to do surgery. And that's, that's what he came out saying. He's, he's headed back home. He's going to be um, trying to avoid that if he can. And for those of you out there listening, there's a lot that someone like that can do. As a professional athlete, we can rebuild the body. And yes, it's repetitive injury. These people do, you know, they're constantly using their body in a certain way. And that definitely will cause injury. But for Novak, we want you to know with nutrification, you can repair and regenerate your body. And that's not only for professional athletes, that's for all of us. But again, I admire his, uh, you know, not wanting to have his body chopped on because honestly, that's not going to help anything for him um, as far as his body. So, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to work within the confines of what you have going on and you want to rebuild and regenerate your body. So, all right.